I'm not impressed by buzzwords, and I have to say that I find it extraordinary that a man has, who has just come into the Secretary of State of one of the most important parts of government, just come in, can actually suddenly manage a huge reform of this kind without any previous expense of the health service over a period of time. No matter what happens, it's got to have really good leadership from government. And frankly, I have to say that most of the cabinet are not people who would have been appointed appointable in previous governments in either Labour or a Tory party uh, government. And I'm very concerned about the level of skill that we have with our ministers. What we really want is something quite different from the health service. I think we have to understand how we're going to finance it. That's the first thing. That's the most important thing. And it's high time we stopped it being a political football, the idea that there's only one party that's capable of looking at the uh, at healthcare at the point of referral and all the rest of it. The fact is, all parties need to get together in unison to work out collectively what would be the best way of funding the health service. And it may well be that health care is now so expensive and is going to get more expensive that we need to think about new models. But we can't do that with just one government doing it and laying down some rule which will then be changed by the next government. It's just not going to work. And history has shown us that it makes the health service more and more difficult to work. And it works for a time under Tony Blair. He doubled the amount of money going into the health service. But now, of course, things are vastly more expensive than they were. And there are lots of issues which are not covered by a Javid speech. I mean, I haven't seen the whole speech, but I have seen the bill. And there are all sorts of things which are really important for us to be thinking about. Do you think that this sort of, you know, obsession with uh, having to treat the NHS as it's a taboo subject, tiptoe around it, we now have to say our NHS, you can't talk about it without, uh, you know, saying it versus hard-working doctors and nurses, because it's almost as if it's absolute from criticism. Do you think that that has been the problem, actually holding it back for decades now? Well, you think that's a very important point that, of course, you know, health service workers, people like me get wonderful praise from government. But actually, we don't feel, I mean, I'm no longer employed by the health service, but of course, I was for a very long time. Uh, we, we get the feeling, after all, that governments actually really don't understand because they're not actually there. And to have a Secretary of State who's never really, hadn't had time really to look at the health service in real detail, given the COVID crisis, this is the wrong time for this report, this reform. Because, of course, we're still trying to recover from COVID, and we're not going to have a report on how COVID was handled, which affected the whole of the health service, and is going to lead a legacy of ill health for some years to come with other diseases which haven't been treated. It is wrong to have this bill at this stage anyway. And I think that's a crucial question. We're going to be debating it. Its second reading in the House of Lords is on Monday the 11th. And, of course, that really is wrong. And the government shows that what it wants to do is it wants to get it wants to get COVID off the agenda so that they can get re-elected. Now, I, although I sit on the Labour Party's benches, I'm much more independent. I don't believe really in party politics here. I think the health service needs a different kind of thinking, and it should not be a political thinking. Of course, the budget has to be decided, but the budget is something we need to collectively decide. It can't be just done in this kind of way, which is what's happening at the moment. Do you think the problem, I mean, when you talk about political thinking, I mean, it is a national health service. It is one of the only aspects of modern life, you know, 21st century life in the UK, that is fully nationalised. So is this sort of potentially waving in? I mean, Sajid Javid talked about getting people from the commercial sector, managers in, to shake things up. I mean, dare we mention the P-word privatisation? Are we ready to do that? Well, we've had managers and we've had privatisation of managers for years, for decades in the health service. That's not new. I mean, I think, by the way, I would say there are two, two, two areas of government which are all equally important in this respect. Health is one, education is the other one. And, you know, on both sides, I don't think this government is performing very well. And I think, actually, it will be held to account in due course. To come back to privatisation, I've no problem with privatisation. You know, there's a member of the Labour Party saying that very clearly to you. I think it's perfectly reasonable to consider how you might bring private income in, but it's got to be at a proper cost. And the problem is that private, private practice has made massive, uh, made massive profits from working inside the health service. That's why they're there. And so we have to see how we can actually change that with our procurement as well. But there are other issues as well which are not mentioned in government at all, which, of course, is the reason why the NHS is so effective and so brilliant and where, it's, where it is really good is where we connect research and clinical medicine. And the problem here, of course, is that there is not sufficient 
recognition of the research being absolutely vital to the improvement of healthcare. You can't improve healthcare just with managers. You actually need to have a better knowledge base and better research. By the way, the problem with digitization, I think, is being solved. I think we're extremely lucky, as I said before, that we now have NHSX. NHSX is going to be a really important part of collecting data which will help healthcare. But you still need the provision for the equipment and the people and all the other skills which are required to implement that and make it work from research. Robert, I would make you health secretary in a heartbeat. It's always lovely talking to you. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favorite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.